Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected student. I'm Dr. Nizamuddin, and uh, I'm going to present here today the nomenclature of carboxylic acid and the derivatives. And let's begin with today's lecture. And uh, today's lecture will cover the name of the how to name the carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid salts, esters, carboxylic acid anhydride acid chlorides, amides, and nitrides. So this is the structure of carboxylic acid in which we have the carbonyl group and the OH group. Once this OH have been replaced by a variety of the moiety, we have several derivatives. For example, if it is replaced by the alkoxy group, we have ester. And uh, similarly, when it is replaced by the acetyl group, we have the acid anhydride. Once this OH has been replaced by the chloride group, we have the acid chloride. And later, this OH has been replaced by the uh, amine group, we have the amide functionality. And one, uh, another carboxylic acid derivative is the nitride. <clears throat> so let's start how to name the carboxylic acids. Uh, it is very similar uh, that the all rules are same, just like alkane. If you are well aware how to name the alkane, so you can easily give the name to the any carboxylic acid. Means uh, the first rule is select the longest chain, and start numbering where we have the branch. In this case of the carboxylic acid, we always the carboxylic acid, the carbonyl carbon will be uh, given uh, the priority as the number one position. Say for example, uh, in these two example, this is, uh, uh, an example of the carboxylic acid. So this carboxylic carbon will be uh, carbon number one and this carbon number two. So it means total we have the two carbon and we know that two carbon alkane is known as the ethane. So ethane E have been replaced with the oic acid because of this carbonyl and the OH functionality which is the basically carboxylic acid. So uh, in some way this name will be ethanoic acid. Its uh, systematic IPEC name is also known as the acetic acid. Similarly, in the next example, you can see here it's a slightly uh, long chain carboxylic acid in which total carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are there. And this double bond is basically having um, E or the transgenerity. Why? Because the two groups are on the opposite side of the double bond. One group is down and one group is above the plane. If these two groups are on the same side of the double bond, in this case, this could be Z or the cis moiety. So uh, this carbon is carbon number one and two, three, four, five, six. So total we have the hex. And before X, we have to write the uh, E for the E configuration of this uh, given structure. And if we look at the structure carbon number one and two, two having basically the in functionality. So we are writing hex two in. And in, in total, we have the six carbon and at carbon number carbon number one, we have the oic acid. So it will be named as E hex two in oic acid. So that's how we name the carboxylic acid. Let's see how to name the carboxylate salts. First, uh, the rule is the carboxylic uh, acid Salts are uh, as a parent suffix ending with the O8. How? Uh, I will show you uh, by comparing the carboxylic acid salt with the carboxylic acid group. For example, this is the structure of uh, carboxylic acid having four carbon. So uh, in terms of the carboxylic acid, it is named as the butanoic acid. Now what happened in case of the carboxylic acid salt, this hydrogen have been replaced by one of the, the alkali metal. And then we have basically what? We, we have the potassium or the sodium uh, attached with this carbon. So this metal will be uh, prefixes as a potassium, whatever the name it is, okay? And it will be always uh, written uh, as a prefix, the potassium. Now this uh, uh, O negative with this carbonyl uh, will be suffixed as the O8 group. And before O8, we have to write the total number of carbon 
and you can see here in this specific example we have the total of four carbon one two three four so it will become butane O8 so potassium butane O8 will be the name of this specific salt. Uh, one more comparison with this carboxylic acid with its salt. So the IUPAC name of this um, uh, organic molecule is the benzoic acid, having the benzene and the oic carbon. So benzoic acid is the IUPAC name. So how to name its uh, carboxylic acid salt? This uh, uh, hydrogen has been replaced by the sodium in this specific example. So sodium will be written first as a prefix like sodium. And this benzoic acid become benzoate, benzoate group. Let's see some more example. The esters, how to name esters. It is a third derivative uh, in today's lecture. <clears throat> what the rule says, rule says that esters, if you uh, know that how to name the salt of uh, carboxylic acid, so esters will be much easier. Why? For example, in case of ester, the parent suffix ending with the O8, just like the salt of the carboxylic acid. See some example. In case of salt, here we have this, uh, the metal. Now while in case of esters, we have here the alkyl chain. So this alkyl, if it is methyl, so we say methyl. If it is ethyl, we, see, we, we will first write the ethyl. If it is propyl, we, we will first write the propyl. So after this alkyl, we just uh, write the, the main uh, root. Uh, and in this specific example, we have the total three carbon. So after methyl, we write the total three carbon propane. And this E have been replaced with the suffix O8 because of the ester group. So methyl propane O8 will be its nomenclature. See some more example. In this example, you can see here this oxygen is directly associated with two carbon and we know that two carbon alkyl is known as ethyl. So first we are writing ethyl. Now this chain contains the stereoisomer having the double bond which is basically uh, E in configuration. Why? Because two groups are not on the same side. One is uh, down the plane and one is above the plane. So first we are writing the E and this carbon number one, two, three and four and, and at carbon number two we have basically the in and total carbon are four so for four carbon first we'll write the butte and then we will specify the position of the double bond which is uh, dash two and then at carbon number two we have the in group so we are writing the in group and then in the last we have the o8 so ethyl a butene to a in o8 will be its uh, nomenclature and more example just to make the clarification of the E and Z. In this specific example, we have basically uh, uh, Z is to isomer. Why? Because the two groups, uh, the bulky group, are on the same side of the double bond. So that is uh, why that we are writing Z instead of E. And uh, this oxygen first is uh, directly associated with the ethyl group. So we are writing ethyl. Then we will write uh, the configuration of this part on the left hand side which is z okay now this carbon number one two three four five and six total long carbon chain is six carbon and uh, you can see here at carbon number two we have a double bond and carbon number four we have the methyl group first we will add the branch which is the carbon number four and at carbon number four we are we are writing four methyl and total long carbon chain after this uh, uh, oxygen we have the six we are writing four methyl hags at carbon number two, we have the in group, and, and last we write the suffix O8. So the, the IUPAC name will be ethyl Z4 methyl hex 2 in O8. Right? Now let us see how to name the carboxylic acid and hydride. Uh, the rule for the writing the carboxylic acid and hydride. The most anhydrides are named by the dropping the word acid and uh, from the name of the carboxylic acid and then ending the word with anhydride. But this rule uh, will be applied when we have a basically symmetrical anhydride. For asymmetrical anhydride, we have slight change. I will show you by means of some example here. You can see here, in this specific example, 
if you cut from the center, it's a symmetrical uh, anhydride. Both sides, we have the acetyl group. Here, we have the acetyl group as well. And here, of course, we have two carbon chain here and two carbon chain here. So for two carbon chain, if it is um, acetic acid or ethanoic acid, we write the ethanoic acid. We are just writing, the, let's see, ethanoic acid. Now, because of the anhydride, the acid uh, word has been dropped by the anhydride. So instead of writing ethanoic acid, we are writing ethanoic anhydride. Why? Because it's a combination of two ethanoic uh, acid group as well. Now, what happened? If you have the anhydride and this anhydride having two different chain. In this specific example, we have uh, on left side, the two carbon chain carbonyl group. And on right side, we have the three carbon chain carbonyl group. And it's basically, again, the anhydride. So what we will do, we will just write for the two carbon, uh, we will just write the alphabetical order. You can, we, we know that the two carbon, Carbonyl group are is, is known as the ethanoic, and three carbon carbonyl group is known as the propenoic. And in alphabetical way, the E comes first with the P. So what we will write, we will write ethanoic, propenoic, and hydride because of the uh, this uh, nature of the molecule which is asymmetrical. In the second example, just to make the you know, the comparison, I just wrote here. Uh, the, the symmetrical molecule on both sides, we have the three carbon chain. Now, we will not write ethanoic propanoic, we just write the propanoic anhydride. It is basically understood that the propanoic should be on both sides equally around the oxygen of the uh, ester uh, anhydride group. Uh, next example that how to name the acyl chlorides. Uh, acyl chloride are also known as the acid chloride uh, as a parent suffix ending with the oil chloride, which means uh, the parent alkane chain will be uh, E replaced with the oil chloride. Let's see. For example, if it is benzoic, uh, if we have the OH, it is known as the benzoic acid. This benzoic acid, uh, acid have been replaced with the oil chloride. Na the name is benzoyl chloride. See some more example. In this example, just imagine if we have here OH, so it will be named as the ethanoic acid. Now the oic acid have been replaced with the oil chloride. Now the name will be ethane oil chloride, showing that we have the, uh, the acetyl chloride. One more example, total carbon we have now three, one, two, three. So if we have the three, we know that, that it's a propane. And if we have the OH here, it is known as the propanoic acid. Now it it, it has it uh, the, this is structure having the the chlorine instead of the OH, so it will become the propanoyl chloride. It is one of the derivative of the carb In the next example, we have the amide. Let's see how to name amides. Uh, a rule says that amide as a parent uh, suffix ending with amide always. For example. In case of this structure, and we know that the, in, in the amide, the carbonyl directly attached with the uh, amine group. So that is the reason it is known as the amide. So just see the total carbon uh, uh, having in the carbonyl group. So in this structure, we have the two carbon, means ethane. And after ethane, we just write the amide. Amide showing that the nature of the group, that the NH is uh, directly coupled with the carbonyl group. So, its side effect name will be ethane amide. Similarly, see here, one, two, three, we just write the propane and the amide for this functionality. Another example, uh, slightly typical with some branches. See, one, two, three, four, five. Five carbon chain and at carbon number one, two, three, we have the methyl group. We just write the three methyl and we know that five carbon known as the pentane. So three methyl pentane and in the last we have the suffix amide. The three methyl pentane amide will be its uh, nomenclature. How to name nitriles? Nitriles are uh, uh, also the derivative of the carboxylic acid. And uh, in nitrile, the parent suffix ending with the nitrile group. And uh, see some example. In nitrile, carbon nitrogen having the triple bond. This triple bond N is basically known as a nitrile. So how to name this? This triple bond N carbon will also be counted in the carbon chain. So in this specific example, we have total two carbon chain. And two carbon chain is known as the ethane. And in the end, because of this triple bond N, 
the suffix will be used as a nitrile. So ethane nitrile will be its uh, IUPAC nomenclature. Now this specific example contain a branch along with the nitrile group. So this carbon is carbon number one, two, and three. In carbon number two, we have the methyl group. So we are writing two methyl. And the total carbon long chain is the three carbon. So we are writing two methyl propane. Two is the indication that at carbon number two, we have a methyl group. So two methyl propane, and because of this carbon nitrogen triple bond, we are writing the nitrile. So two methyl propane nitrile will be its nomenclature. Uh, that's all for today's lecture. And uh, in the next lecture, we will discuss some more synthesis of the carboxylic acid. See you.